Hi everyone, this is Anchal Soni. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I am going to discuss a solution by which you can prevent your dashboard from going blank in cases when filters are selected as such that there are no rows to return. Um, for this segment value, this is a filter and um, for every row, there is a value for segment. So if I deselect all from here, then uh, the query isn't returning any results. Now, which means you can see two cases over here. First is that these boxes retain their headers while the purple boxes go completely blank. And the same thing follows for these two charts. This chart goes completely blank, but this one retains the axis. Now, this chart and these blue boxes give you an idea about what the, what the dashboard is about. Uh, even if there are no values, um, you are passing on the message that these are the values pertaining to subcategory, but the sales is, um, that there is no value for sales right now. If your, if your dashboard goes blank like this, then the user might get confused, might pre-assume that something is wrong at their end. So um, following this way, um, you can um, prevent a lot of um, misconception. And also these are the best practices to follow. That's how you make your dashboards more engaging. Um, so let's see how to uh, create a, a dashboard like this, which prevents the headers and access. Um, I'll turn this on to all. All right, now ideally what happens is whenever we have to create these boxes, what we do is just bring in sales over here on text. Then we go to text and write sales over here. And that's how you just do the formatting and you create a box like this. But when you um, deselect everything, this will go blank. So instead of doing this, what you have to do is um, just don't use the text over here. Whatever header, the title that you want to give, just come to your column shelf and write it over here. Uh, hide field labels for columns and do formatting so that you can remove this um, lines and borders. Uh, let's remove tooltip as well. All right. Now um, switch to entire view. And what you'll do is go to analysis tab, table layout, show empty rows. Go back to analysis again, table layout, show empty columns. Um, let me do some formatting over here so that it's clearly visible. And let's bring this to center. And this one, let's keep it here only. Now I'm deselecting all from here. You can see the value section has gone blank, but the header is there. So it is only because we chose these two options over here. That's why the header got retained. Um, the same things goes, uh, goes for your chart. So I have the chart over here. Now, what I need to do is go to analysis tab, table layout, show empty rows, table layout, show empty columns. And that's how you can retain your access as well. Follow this. Um, try to do this by yourself and let me know if this has helped you out. Uh, if you like my content, then do share it across. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, then do it right now. That's all for this video. Thank you.